know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, she vlogs in the car a lot. I do, because I'm in my car a lot. I love my car. If you follow me, baby, I'm gonna let you know. What's up, Mama Maniacs? I am on my way to a Steve Irwin gala. I'm meeting up with a girlfriend of mine. Her name's Randy. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog during this event. It may not be appropriate. It's at a really nice hotel in Los Angeles. SLS Hotel, so nice, so swanky, so swanky. It's a black and white event. Does that mean I'm supposed to be in black? Because I'm in dark blue. <laughs> Have you ever met Randy on the channel? You have not. Randy is a very fun mom. I met through Dancing with the Stars. She's just a ball of energy and a ball of fun. And apparently my day tonight. Let's do time, bro. Yeah, yeah. So we're here at the Irwin Gala. There are so many snakes here. This is my date for the evening. Randy, beautiful. Hi. More soon with snakes. Bindi, her season. I was obsessed. When I had the opportunity to meet Derek, the first thing that I asked him was about Bindi. I wanted to know everything about her because I found her story so inspirational and I found just, it, it was just such a great story and I absolutely was not let down at all by her. Like, you knew it. Randy knew it. You knew it. <laughs> knew it. You, you knew that she was that girl and I just love her. I think I just saw a cheetah. It's a cheetah. I'm gonna be calm. I'm gonna be collective. There's a cheetah. <laughs> we used to own a dog named Duke, and that looks so much like him. It's crazy. It's like Duke reincarnated. He might be taller than me. Yeah, oh. means 
They use their speed. Yes. Right. So they essentially run away from everything. The, the lighter you are, the faster you're going to run. So that uh -huh. has its advantages right. in the wild. Our cats don't need to run to survive. They run for fun. Right. So uh, again, they can have as much as they want again to maintain a nice, healthy uh, body. Condition. She's like, why am I here? What's happening? Again, as our bravest, kind of boldest cat, she is okay checking out the scenery, putting her head in plants. Most cats, if it moves funny, they'd hiss at it because it's so offensive and they have no idea what it is. Right. And who knows if it's dangerous. Yeah. But again, she's probably our, our bravest, boldest, most confident cheetah, so. Oh, what a good girl. I've been so privileged to visit some of the amazing conservation projects that we have all over the planet. You know, we've got conservation in Sumatra protecting tigers, we've got rhino conservation in Africa, and elephants, and just any animal you can think of, we're helping to protect it. And I think that's what, that's what Dad started, that's what he was really passionate about. And it's such a privilege to see that firsthand, and to really see the impact that it has. So tonight's all about raising those but raising those funds and awareness for wildlife and to make a difference. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone and it's going to be an awesome night. Thank you. I'm the shortest hour in here. Um, it's, so, it's so good to see you guys. As Robert said, you are all truly part of our family. You know, we are one big wildlife warriors family. And in every different way, we are contributing to make the world a better place. So thank you very much. I'd really like to thank Titus and Sasha for being our MCs tonight. You guys are fantastic. We love you. And I can already tell that we're going to get some great auction money because you guys are just a little bit intimidating, which is also great. So you know what? We're going to raise a lot of funds tonight, and we love you guys. So thank you. Okay, okay. We'll be quiet about that part. But uh, thank you guys so much. A uh, huge thank you to all of our Wildlife Warriors Ambassadors. A huge thank you to Derek for being here tonight. Oh. I have to say, yeah, you are phenomenal. And together we went through probably the craziest experience of my entire life. I mean, I can jump on crocodiles just fine, but wearing heels and dancing in sequence, <laughs> that is a true art. So round of applause. Okay, so we're leaving now. We had such a good time. It was a great, great experience and a great evening. And, and we held snakes and yeah. lizards. And we saw a cheetah. And we saw a cheetah. And we sat by good company. Nolan's so sweet. What a... She could eat me for lunch. I'm like an appetizer. Oh, well. God, that's face. Oh, God. You're never even in a comfortable position. Oh. It's okay. How cool. We came where the party's at. Yeah. Now behind the scenes. Look over the camera. Ready? Oh, my gosh. He's coming for me. Hey, bud. It's he cool. Snakes. He knows I like him. Amazing. Oh my god. That we picked so the perfect cool. time to walk out. That was good timing. Huh? Dude. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was so crazy. <laughs> okay. An incredible amount of energy for about four minutes, and then they're like, okay. And I'm done. So do they eat like little people? I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> I can't. I make no guarantees. <laughs> so it's an anaconda. How how long is it? She's about 14 feet. And 14. Little, about 100 pounds. Or That's so. like two Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There you go. So here, hold her. Wow. I'll, I'll shoot at an angle where I'm out of your picture. 
Oh, you don't have to be out of my picture. Hi, handsome, pretty girl. Oh, wow, you weigh a lot. Ooh, girl. Here, you someone I... else take it, or do you want to do it outside? Oh, uh, yes, please. Thank you. Okay, I just, don't take just keep step. shooting. No steps. Okay, there you I go. Got heels on. Hurry, shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> <laughs>